Hello everyone. Today we shall look into few other list functions. Here I have a list from 1 to 100. Let us uh, see how to calculate maximum value of the list. We know that it is uh, maximum value 100. I'll add a step. I'll type the function list.max. Okay, list.max function gives us the maximum result of list. So my list is source here. Uh, as I click on the stick mark, here you could see that my max value is 100 which is appearing over here. List.max function, it gives us the maximum value of the list. I'll show you another example. Here there are few dates. Okay, I'll add a step. I'll type list.max, open the parenthesis. Here I have a tabular column. So as you understand, I have to take the previous step, open the square brackets and give the column name. This is how we write list for a particular tab tabular column and then put a comma. If you want uh, to give any default value, you can, you can give. Here it is not necessary. I'll close the parenthesis. I'll uh, click on tick mark. Here you could see that my maximum date which is present in the list is uh, 30th April 2023 okay this is how we use uh, max function I'll show you how to use the default uh, parameter suppose that uh, our list is empty okay I'll type list.max and open the parenthesis here suppose that our list is empty I have typed curly brackets I'll put a comma in the default uh, value, I'll write minus 1, close the parenthesis and click click on it. Here you could see that since there, is, there are no values, it will give me minus 1. Suppose that I input the values 1, 2, 3 and click on here. Here you could see that my maximum value is 3. This is how this default uh, value is useful in the list.max function. Let us move on to the other function which is max n. This function it will give us uh, you know top top three values okay which uh, which are maximum in the list. Here I have a random values okay random values which are both positive and negative. I'll add a step okay I'll uh, write list dot max n. I'll open the parenthesis. Here I have to provide the list. I'll provide the source which is my list. In the counter condition place, I'll put 3. Here it will give me top 3, which is maximum 3 values which are present in the list. This is how max n, is, uh, max n function is used. Let us explore few other functions. Here I have a list of uh, 38 values from 1 to 38. Let us see how to extract median. I have added a step. I'll type median list.median I'll input the source okay and uh, then just click ok here well, you could see that my median uh, you know value of the list is 19.5 suppose that there are these are the list of my dates I'll again show you how to find the median date I'll type list.median open the parenthesis similarly this is my previous step I'll open the square brackets and give the date column I'll put a comma here okay you could give the comparison criteria if you any if you have any I'll close the parenthesis and click ok here you could see that my median date is 20 22 April if you go to source you could see that my 22 April is in the 8th row which is which is in order it is a median date I'll go to the next function which is minimum I have this random values which are both positive and negative. I'll try to add a step and then show you the minimum value from the list. I'll type list.min. Okay, list.min function gives us the minimum value. In the list, I'll provide the source and click OK. Here you could see this uh, minus 56 is my minimum value from the list. Uh, similar to the max function, suppose that you have empty list okay i i'll open the parenthesis i provided an empty list i'll put comma 
uh, instead of default condition I, ca- I could give some that I'll give some text content that there is no list I'll cl- click on here here you could see that since there are no values it will give me no list okay suppose that I enter the data 1 comma 2 comma 3 again I'll click here you could see that it has given me the minimum value this is how you know this second parameter is uh, useful similar to the max n function we could use the minimum min n function I'll add a step quickly I'll show you uh, minimum three values from the list I'll type min n list dot min n function open the parenthesis provide the list which is my source the previous step in the second parameter counter condition suppose that I want bottom uh, four values okay I'll click okay here you could see that these are my bottom four negative values which are present in the list this is how min n function is used to find out the bottom uh, few values which are required uh, this is the list which we have uh, you know for it both positive negative and zero values uh, we ha- suppose that we have to sort it uh, okay either by ascending or descending order let us explore the function list.sort this list.sort function by default it uh, arranges the list in ascending order I'll provide the source in the parameter list.sort in the first like in, with, with respect to the source it will arrange my data from minimum to maximum okay suppose that I want to uh, see the values in descending order I'll put a comma okay in the comparison criteria suppose that I want to order my values in the descending order I'll type order dot descending this is how we could uh, rearrange the data from maximum to minimum from positive to negative in the descending order by default it will give the ascending order otherwise we could uh, use the second parameter and uh, make the order into descending using the list dot sort function let us explore the percentile function uh, for today's uh, video here I have the same uh, like random values of list I'll add a step suppose that we want to find out the percentile I'll type percentile list dot percentile function helps us to identify the percentile values I'll provide the list which is my source okay suppose that I'll put comma and suppose that I want 25 percentile what I could do is I'll type 0.25 as I click here you could see that this is my 0.25 like 25 percentile value suppose that I want to view uh, multiple percentiles like I'll, I'll provide it in a list suppose that I want 25 percentile 50 percentile comma 75 percentile I'll put in decimal values so that it could identify the percentile values I'll click OK here you could see that the first value is my 25 percentile second one is the 50 percentile and the third one is 75 percentile uh, suppose that I want to change my percentile mode as you could uh, understand with respect to excel uh, uh, percentile inc and uh, exe formats I could put a comma here you have this optional as nullable record I'll open the square brackets you could uh, type percentile mode equal to you could type the percentile mode dot here you could see that excel exe excel inc these functions are similar to the percentile dot exe percentile dot inc in excel suppose that i i type percentile mode dot excel exe and click here you could see that my values are changing and suppose that i'll type excel inc here you could see that uh, my values would be changing make sure that you don't make any spelling mistakes okay and then you have to click on this tick mark here you could see that my values again change back to the normal values this is how list dot percentile values are calculated by using the source as the list you provide the respective decimal uh, you know percentages where you have to calculate and then uh, you could choose the percentile mode if necessary otherwise by default it will use the excel inc or percentile inc mode okay um, this is all for now thank you for watching and uh, we shall meet in the next video